Okay. My name is Hobo Tom. And I'm his girlfriend. Um, why are you wearing that shirt? You need to put on a wrestling shirt because it's a wrestling podcast. Oh, the camera. Okay. Okay, I have my shirt on, but that's a little quick shout out the friendos, Stephen Larson. They get their cheap pops today. Um, so today, um, unfortunately, because of my job, which kind of sucks, and my girlfriend had her job today. Sweetie, why don't you, you tell everyone out there what your job is? Because you're much better at it than I am. Well, I'm a for photographer. Yeah, again, she has a real job, unlike me. I'm just a hobo. I go out there and collect cans every so often. Um, we're going to review WWE Fastlane 2018. The first match, the opening match, Brizongo and Ty Dillinger versus Gable, Benjamin, and Mojo Rally. Eh. What did you think about that match, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah. Brizongo and Ty Dillinger won. I don't know. A good episode of SmackDown. Six man tag action. Not great. Okay, and in no particular order because I forgot to write it down in order, but I had this whole list. Um, first match I've done Becky Lynch and Naomi versus Natalia and Carmella. Sweetie, what, what, when did like Carmella learn to wrestle? Because she did really good this match. I have no idea. Yeah, but Carmella, somehow Carmella got the pin, and, and that means Natalia and Carmella won. They beat Becky Lynch and Naomi, which was sad, but hey, I guess some good came out of Carmella learned, learned how to wrestle. And, shit, and this was the opening match. Again, this list is out of order. But we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusa. And of course, this is going to set up for the WrestleMania match because Shinsuke Nakamura run, Shinsuke Nakamura won on... How about you? Yeah. Yeah. It's always bad to lose on Rusev Day, especially if you're named Rusev, I guess. Then we had Charlotte Flair. Woo! Versus how you love lace. Oops. I actually mean Ruby Riot. I'm again a little bit older than I remember her as as how do you love lace? And then woo, Charlotte Flair went over. Kind of predictable. Um see so your thoughts on that match? It was a good match. Yeah, but Ruby Riot lost though. But this does set up for WrestleMania because then Asa came out and is probably going to challenge Charlotte for the SmackDown Championship. Then we had the Usos, which is Sunday ish, Sunday here in Florida, versus the New Day. Fun. Your thoughts on that match? It was an okay match. You know what? It wasn't. You know why it wasn't? It was a duck that finished, baby. Which means nobody wins. The Bludgeon Brothers came out, interfered. I think one team did win, but the Bludgeon Brothers just decided to beat up everyone. And so it's a duck that finished, baby. Nobody wins. And we had a glorious match between Bobby Roode and Randy Orton. Sweetie, what did you think of that match? It was unglorious. Yep. Bobby Roode lost. Now Randy Orton is a triple crown winner, or he's held every belt there is to hold in the WWE. I forget exact, exactly what they call that person. And then we had our main event, which can be summed up in one word. It was phenomenal. Because the winner of the match was a J Styles. Styles. And again, this sets up WrestleMania because now it's going to be A J Styles, Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura, which is a rematch of the time they wrestled in New Japan. Again, we'd like to thank you for watching our wrestling reca recap show. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send them to hobo and his girlfriend at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.